Sand of TV News. Morning Satsang with the Avatar, Sarvas and Kalpa Sanyasi. 2012 Awakening the World Tour in November. The 13th Inner Awakening with Ingenious for Kids continues day number 8. A Singapore devotee shares her Inner Awakening transformations. A participant of the Nirahara Samima receives the booty at her computer during project work. Los Angeles Arunachala Temple conducted Satyanarayana Oma and Navagraha Oma and received materialized vibhuti below their Surya deity following Navagraha Puja. Rudra Oma and Rudra Bishakam from Bidhiti August 31st. Available for offering. Nityanandam and welcome to Nityananda TV News for Tuesday, August 28, 2012, the year of meditation and cosmic partying, the kind that doesn't do damage to our bodies. Now for today's top stories. Whoa. Morning satsang with Avatar and living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda, Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi. This morning, during the most watched live internet daily spiritual program on the planet, 1,088 places with 64 two-way connections, Nayana Diksha, from 271 cities in 28 countries, joined with Nityananda TV this morning for 105 minutes in satsang with the avatar Paramahamsa Nityananda. This morning, Swamiji spoke on Bhagavad Gita chapter 6, verse number 4, Saros and Kalpasan Yasi. I wanted all of our devotees to write this one line, Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi. Make sure that patterns are not driving force of your life. That's it. Remember this and try to make this as your lifestyle. More and more live with this mood of Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi. The driving force is mood of inspiration, grace. At some moments you would have felt like blessing everybody. Bring those moments again and again. Make that as a lifestyle. The online Nirahara Samima entered the second level day number 5 and the Samima day number 8 today. The Tamil Nadu government announced it will not oppose Swamiji's coronation as 293rd Guru Mahasanidanam in any way. And heal yourself of diabetes, arthritis, obesity, hypertension and much more. Free on Nityanana TV and through live internet introduction sessions. Daily following 7 a.m. India Standard Time morning satsang and news and at 8.45 p.m. India Standard Time, log on to nityananda.tv for your daily dose of miraculous healing, catching the world and medical profession by storm, healing kriyas. Email nityakriya at gmail.com to schedule your free live introductory sessions. And let us all pray for the health and quick recovery of the 292nd Pontiff Guru Mahasanidanam, Srila Sri Arunagiri Natha Sri Jnana Sambandha Desika Paramacharya Swamigal of Madurai Adinam, with whom Swamiji spoke with live during this morning's satsang. The key word is Sarva Sangalpa Sanyasi. Not having the driving patterns inside. Please understand. I am translating the word Sarva Sangalpa Sanyasi. Not having the driving patterns inside. Letting the pure inspiration drive and move you. One who does not cling to his muscle memory one who does not even care about his bio-memory, who does not have patterns as driving force, lives in the state of Nityananda, muscle memory, is the engrams which has become part of your mental thinking and attitudes, bio-memory, is the engrams which has become part of your very biological 
flow of life your very survival instinct your very surviving mechanism if water is like engram when it is frozen ice is like muscle memory if the ice does not melt for seasons and seasons and seasons years after years after years and era after era after era becomes a stone that is bio memory you know very clearly what is your bio memory the moment look into your life the mental patterns which diverts you from your life's mission is muscle memory the physical patterns which diverts you from your life's mission is bio memory maya means the patterns which moves you away from your life's mission which does not let you go near the fulfillment of your life's mission the key term you need to meditate sarva sankalpa sanyasi means please understand bhagwan is not saying give up all your wealth no give up all your positions no give up all your relationships no give up all your house car wealth no he is not saying sarva dana sanyasi no he is not saying sarva jana sanyasi no he is not saying renouncing all the powers positions no he is saying sarva sankalpa sanyasi let the patterns be not a driving force on you of you let the patterns not be the driving force let the patterns not be the fuel of your life again and again and again people get stuck with that one problem how can pure inspiration be the pattern how can pure inspiration be the running fuel of life it is possible at some time in your life you would have felt <coughs> like blessing everybody forgiving everybody those moments pure inspiration was the driving force bring those inspired graceful moments again and again make that as your lifestyle oh. 2012 awakening the world tour in november with the transformational energy of 2012 peaking at the end of the year Paramahamsa Nityananda will embark on a world tour sharing with global audiences the secrets of harnessing these powerful energies for material and spiritual abundance. To give 100,000 people the conscious touch as a goal to make the conscious experience for one third of humanity, 2012 is actually the time when we are closest to actualizing our highest possibilities. From 2012 onwards, a fortunate confluence of massive physical and spiritual energies will be working to catapult humanity to the next plane of conscious evolution. With interactive sessions, mind-body healing techniques, powerful energy initiations, and the 2012 intensive mystical revelations known as the Akashic readings, a day with Paramahamsa Nityananda promises to open the door to a whole new world of transformation. contact your local center to see how you can get involved now and benefit as a traveling volunteer for the tour oh. 
The 13th Inner Awakening with N Genius for Kids from Kodakinal continues day number 8. Inner Awakening continued today as participants are building stronger bodies through yoga and cleansing kriyas to better hold and receive the intense energies transferred by living incarnation Paramahansa Nityananda. And N Genius kids share their stories. Desire. Desire. What you give is what you get. get. No, uh, yeah, what you give is what you get. And then the if we forget, we, uh, if we forget, we forget. forget. And uh, the third day was desire. Desire, uh, uh, we did a triangle and put seven lights and did what we need, uh, like food, clothing, water, then jobs, money. And then and that, and mm -hmm. that was the second, and the last was a light bit. You have to reach the light bit. The last was that but we waste time so much. But when we're small itself, we should start being. We should start trying to be a light. But without that, we when we're we, small, we see we see cartoons. We grow up. We grow up. We should we we will buy. Then we'll, then we'll get uh, the. Uh, this of money, then we will go back, then we will go so big, then it will be so, which will be so difficult to get. When you are small, it will be so easy. But when you are big, it is so, so difficult. When you are small itself, if you do yoga and these things, when you do yoga, yoga, mantra, chanting, if you do everything when you are small, it is not necessary to do when you grow. But uh, that time, uh, when we grow, we can also, we can, we can, uh, we can also, if we do that small time, then it will be easy like the small to be enlightened when you are big also. Because we will get the power to catch it or else dumb and fall in. And in international news, a Singapore devotee shares her inner awakening transformations. Hi, uh, my name is Kim Lee and I'm a teacher. I'm here to share with you my experience at the uh, recent uh, Inner Awakening uh, Meditation Retreat in India that was done by Sri Paramahamsa Nityananda. NSP uh, was a major part of this program. Um, I experienced Kundalini Awakening, Levitation, um, a host of other benefits that would that include elimination of insomnia, increased lung capacity, increased uh, breathing capacity, energy levels and so on. In March this year, I signed up for a meditation course which was really a very good lead-in to the Inner Awakening retreat that I took part in uh, two weeks ago. I became more and more fascinated with the stories that I heard about the Master, his powers to heal and to transform. And uh, four months later, four months from the date that I came to know of him, I signed up for the 21 day inner awakening in India. And boy, am I glad I did because uh, it's, it, it, it really is an amazing um, trans, uh, transformative experience that I would recommend for anybody. And it's uh, the energy field that he engenders. I, I'll talk about his presence later on. But this is what he is, you know, in his presence. In, in the energy field that he engenders, things happen. So memories would surface. You, you, you're quite amazed, really, at what comes out uh, of you. You know, and they, uh, they come out in a safe way. It's a very safe environment. So the more you are able to surface these memories, the better. Uh, because after the exercise, and nobody reads this, nobody reads what you've written. Uh, in the end, they are burnt in a sacrificial fire. But he comes he, because of who he is, you know, he knows about them. And so, uh, at the end of the exercise, we are instructed to take a certain yogic position and to perform a certain kriya. A kriya is a breathing technique. So he'll, he'll uh, instruct you as to what you should do. And your part is to do this sincerely and intensely. Because he says the more open you are, the more desirous you are of uh, getting rid of these patterns, then the more effective the cleansing. And the cleansing happens uh, because he does it using his mystical powers. He cleanses, he breaks, he busts all the patterns that are in that particular layer. 
Depending on your own sensitivity, you might perceive the energies working. And if not, then you perceive the effects thereof. So, as I said, we worked on seven layers of the body, and then um, seven layers, seven uh, layers of the bodies, or seven bodies, I should say. And at the end of the 21 days, after I returned, comments were uh, I, from friends that I'd met were, "Wow, you look visibly lighter. Um, you look younger. You've lost weight." And really, I haven't lost weight. I did feel incredibly lighter. The lightness of being is from the loss of the engrams and thoughts that the Master had cleansed, had uh, washed away. He really is the purifier. Uh, you really just have to experience it for yourself to believe it. I, I highly recommend it. Thank you. A participant of the Nirahara Samima received Vibhuti at her computer during project work. My name is Ma Anana Sangavasini and I'm from uh, Calgary, Canada. I am here in Kodaikanal for the D Samyama and I would like to share a miracle that happened. I was working on my laptop and um, I was just writing about a miracle healing that had happened to me and we were also chatting at the same time with some people and listening to some songs that they play during the Darjan and we were just jokingly saying that uh, how just listening to that song or um, sometimes thinking about Swamiji can spontaneously awaken the Kundalini uh, so the body starts to shake and we were kind of laughing and, and joking about that and uh, so um, then I looked down to start working on my laptop again and I see that spontaneously suddenly the Vibhuti had materialized from my laptop. Vibhuti is the sacred ash. So um, Swamiji had said that uh, when he was initiating us into the Samyama that he himself, this is the first time that he himself has done this on such a great scale and that he does not know what is going to happen, what um, extraordinary powers are going to express. So this is to me clearly a manifestation of this um, this initiation that Swamiji has given us. So uh, I feel extremely blessed and it was amazing to see this happen and yeah I wanted to share it with you. Thank you. Nityananda. Los Angeles Arunachala Temple conducted Satyanarayama Oma and Navagraha Oma and received materialized vibhuti below their Surya deity following the Navagraha Puja. On Sunday morning, August 26th, six families and many other devotees gathered at the Nithinanda Vedic Temple in Los Angeles, Arunachala, for a blissful and moving Satyanarayama Puja and Oma and Navagraha Puja and Oma. The deities were stunning, the air was sweet, and mantras ch enchanting. Each family conducted their own personal Oma under the guidance of two Nithinanda Vedic temple pujaris. Through this auspicious and ancient worship, participants experienced the power of Oma, a fire ritual and meditation performed to invoke the divine capabilities in all of us. The Omas were followed by Maha Prasad, and a special volunteer meeting to discuss Swamiji's upcoming Awakening the World Tour 2012. The volunteers, inspired by the slogan, Swamiji is coming, broke into spontaneous dance in the middle of the session. The session ended with sign-ups for various teams and a beautiful personal experience of seva, selfless service. The afternoon concluded with Abhishekam for Lord Venkateshwara, the God of Overflowing Compassion, and the Navagraha Abhishekam. Participants, each with one Kalisha, had the privilege of offering Abhishekam directly to Lord Venkateshwara, an auspicious end to an auspicious day-long ceremony.
ಸತ್ಯ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಗೋಕುಲನಂತನೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗುರು ನಿತ್ಯ ನಂದ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗುರು ನಿತ್ಯ ನಂದ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗುರು ನಿತ್ಯ ನಂದ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ ಗುರು ನಿತ್ಯ ನಂದ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜೈ Rudra Oma and Rudra Abhishekam from Bidhidi, August 31st, make your offerings. How great it would be if there was something which can fulfill anything that you wish. Yes, here is the boon giving Rudra Oma and Rudra Abhishekam that Swamiji has blessed to be a boon giver. Go to nitinanda.org slash events to read all about this Oma and Abhishekam and to make your offerings. Benefits include patterns losing their grip on you, clearing karmas that do not allow you to experience your higher self, fulfilling your true desires and acting like the Kapotara boon giver. That's all from Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi. Make sure that patterns are not driving force of your life. That's it. The driving force is mood of inspiration, grace. At some moments you would have felt like blessing everybody. Bring those moments again and again. Make that as lifestyle. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nityanandam!